using type tool in Adobe Illustrator CS6. Hello there. We are going to learn in this tutorial the use of type tools of Adobe Illustrator CS6. So we have the Adobe Illustrator application open here. Let's create a new document. Now here are the type tools. As you can see, there are six types of type tools here. They are type tool, area type tool, type on a path tool, vertical type tool, vertical area type tool, and vertical type on a path tool. Now I'm going to start with the type tool. Let's select the tool Let's type anything you like here. Now you see while typing here with this tool, it doesn't automatically break the line or go to next line. In that case, you have to press enter from your keyboard to go to the next line. You can move this text by selecting the move tool and place it wherever you like. Now I want to change the color of the text. Let's select the text and choose the color from here. To change the font style, let's select the text and go here and select your favorite font style. Also you can change the font size from here by selecting the text and choose the font size. You can choose the type of alignment you would prefer from here. You can do all of these also from here. Select typography. You'll have all those options with some other here. Now to get rid of this menu here and go back to previous state, click essential from here. So that was all about the type tool. Let's delete the layer we have used. Now let's work with the area type tool. The area type tool is for constraining type within a path, allowing you to create blocks of text in any shape. Start by creating a path with one of the shape tools or the pen tool. For practice, select the ellipse tool from the toolbar and click and drag on this stage to create a circle. Next, select the area type tool from the toolbar by holding down the left mouse button on the type tool T, revealing each of the type tools. Click on any of the slides or lines of a path with the area type tool which will bring up a blinking cursor and turn your path into a text area. Now any text you type or paste will be constrained by the shape and the size of the path. Unlike the area type tool that constrains text within a path, the type on a path tool keeps text on a path. Start by creating a path using the pen tool.
Then select the type on a path tool from the toolbar. Click on the path to bring up a blinking cursor and any text you type will remain on the line and curves of the path. Let's select the vertical type tool. Let's type a text. The only difference here is the text comes vertically here. Now similarly, as we have seen in the use of horizontal tool, you can do all those things such as change font size, font style and color and so on. You could also bold italic or bold italic your text here. Let's select the vertical area type tool. The vertical area type tool is for constraining type within a path, allowing you to create blocks of text in any shape. Start by creating a path with one of the shape tools or the pen tool. For practice, select the rectangle tool from the toolbar and click and drag on the stage to create a shape. Next, select the vertical area type tool from the toolbar by holding down the left mouse button on the type tool T, revealing each of the type tools. Click on any of the sides or lines of a path with the area type tool which will bring up a blinking cursor and turn your path into a text area. Now any text you type or paste here will be constrained by the shape and the size of the path. Unlike the area type tool, that constrains text within a path, the vertical type on a path tool keeps text on a path. Start by creating a path using the pen tool. Then select the type on a path tool from the toolbar. Click on the path to bring up a blinking cursor and any text you type will remain on the line of the path. I think that was all about the use of all the type tools. Thank you.